country. DSO, get up there. Now with 10 never before seen footage from the Capitol attack. Security cameras inside showing the riot. An officer helped Senator Mitt Romney, who was unknowingly walking toward the mob's direction by getting him to safety. As Trump's second impeachment trial continues, a viral moment from San Antonio to Austin was highlighted to make the case. Sharon Coe with more from impeachment manager Congressman Joaquin Castro and his argument on the national stage. New video of the chaos unraveling at the Capitol. House managers accusing former President Donald Trump of fanning unrest much earlier, pointing to his tweets, his interviews, and how he celebrated his supporters' actions. Protecting his bus One of those examples, this incident along I-35 near San Marcos. They say a caravan of Trump supporters tried to push a Biden-Harris campaign bus off the road. Here was his response the next day. Congressman Joaquin Castro. Good afternoon, y'all. Underscoring My name the is argument Joaquin that the Capitol mob was provoked by Trump for months. I'm a Texas Democrat. We've lost a few elections over the years. But can you imagine telling your supporters that the only way you could possibly lose is if an American election was rigged. Castro pointing to these interviews showing Trump's narrative was sinking in. Will you accept the result of Joe Biden? Wins? No. Some type of cheating went on. He says what? Trump bears full responsibility for the Capitol assault and the attack reveals a darker undercurrent. All of us understand how dangerous that is for our country because the most combustible thing you can do in a democracy is convince people that an election doesn't count. Sharon Coe, Ken's Five Eyewitness News. 17 Republicans would need to join Democrats in order to convict Trump. Texas Senator Ted Cruz called the footage shown today horrific, but said the language from the former president doesn't come close to meeting the legal standard for incitement.